You just went out to go to the convenience store to pick something up, and as you were driving down the road, boom, you're hit by somebody who turns out to be a drunk driver. They get out of the car, you get out of your car, they're making sure you're okay, you can smell the alcohol on them, the police are called, the police come to the scene, and they tell you, I just came from a party at my friend's house. So, the question is, can you hold that homeowner liable for allowing this person who's obviously intoxicated to leave their home? Hi, I'm Aaron Field. I'm a Connecticut personal injury attorney with a statewide practice covering all of Connecticut. I'll give you some information about this that might be useful to you. I'm going to tell you a story that's kind of a sad one. A few years back in the state of Connecticut, a group of professionals got together and held a house party. And one of the people, one of the invited guests was a guy who was a known drinker. So the people that were going to be at the party, a couple of them gathered around and said, hey, you know, he can come, but let's do this to make sure that he doesn't leave. So when he got to the party, they took his keys from him or they hid them. They didn't even tell him they were taking them. They just put them on the counter and they took them and put them somewhere. Then he, when they, when they went outside, they moved his car so that his car was blocked in on three sides. It was only one car, only one side of the car that wasn't blocked in. And as the night wore on, they couldn't find him after a while. And they said, you know, we got to go check out the car. They went outside. The car had been moved and he had driven over the neighbor's front lawn. And long story short, unfortunately, as he was driving home, he went to enter the highway and he was actually entering an exit ramp. So as he was entering the highway, going down that ramp, there was a mother of two children driving her SUV by herself who collided with him head on. And after that, the case just got very complicated. The family of the woman sued him for wrongful death. They obviously recovered. Not only did he lose his professional license, he went to jail for four years. But here's the interesting part. The homeowner was found to not be liable for what had taken place at her home that night. And here's why. She didn't serve him any alcohol. He had brought his own bottle, which he finished. And, but the bottle didn't come from her. She had also done everything she could to prevent him from leaving her home in an inebriated state by hiding his keys and attempting to block in his car, which she couldn't park a car on her neighbor's lawn. So the court in that case said they weren't going to hold her liable because she had done everything that she could do. So if this is happening to you and you're wondering if you do have a suit against a homeowner, one other thing you need to remember is if a homeowner is serving alcohol or a person is consuming alcohol on their property and that person is under 21 years old, that homeowner can be found strictly liable for what's happening on their property and be charged with a crime. I'm Aaron Field. If I can help you with any of this information, I'll be glad to hear from you. I welcome your call. Thank you.